एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सेफ एंड हेल्दी एट योर होम सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर टू डेज सेशन इन अर टू डेज सेशन अगेन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर सो फ्यू डिफरेंट केसेज आई हैव ब्रॉड टू डिस्कस विद यू सो द केसेज विच आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस वन इज टू बी ऑफ सी आर ओ फाइव एंड नेक्स्ट इट इज टू बी ऑफ एच टू एस ओ फाइव एंड द अनदर वन दिस इज पी बी थ्री ओ फोर in the other one case this is of fe3o4 so these cases i just want to discuss with you suppose normally if you are taking that cro5 and the question is you have to find out the oxidation number of this underlying chromium so simply what you will do that chromium is to be considered as x oxygen minus 2 whole 5 and that is equal to 0 so in that case you will get 5 to the 10 so that you will get simply x is equals to plus 10 but actually plus 10 this is not the oxidation number of chromium so in that case we have to see the real structure of cro5 actually it forms a butterfly structure this is of cr double bond o and rest four oxygens these are linked in this way and here i just want to tell you whenever the oxygen is linked with another oxygen with a single bond then the this is of peroxide linkage and in that case i have taught in the rules that oxidation state of these oxygen will be minus 1 so these four will be considered as minus 1 and this oxygen will be considered as minus 2 then we have to find out the oxidation state of this chromium so what we will do x plus 4 times we are having minus 1 so minus 1 whole 4 plus and then you have to write minus 2 equal to 0 so that you will get it x minus 4 minus 2 equal to 0 now that we will get it this is plus 6 okay so this is the right answer for the oxidation state of chromium actually chromium that belongs to the group 6 also and its oxidation state will be 6 so let us take the another example this is of h2so5 again we have to find out the oxidation state of underlying element this is sulfur so simply what we will do hydrogen will be considered as plus 1 whole twice sulfur it is to be x and the oxygen this is to be of minus 2 whole 5 equal to 0 so what we will do plus 2 plus x and this is of minus 10 equal to 0 so in the normal case simply you will get 10 minus 2 and the oxidation state of sulfur it is coming here plus 8 but actually this is again this is the wrong condition because sulfur belongs to group 16 so the oxidation state of sulfur not more than 6 6 is the right answer so here we have to make its a symmetry first so that i just want to discuss with you sulfur you have to take in a center when you will make its its electron dot structure so oxygen you have to write here 1 2 3 4 and five these five oxygens are to be there and this is to be linked with this oxygen double bond and this is with the double bond and here you will get it oh and this is of single bond single bond and this is of h so here in that case this oxygen will be having minus 2 oxidation state and this will be having minus 2 again this is of minus 2 this hydrogen plus 1 but this is peroxide linkage so this is of minus 1 and minus 1 and this hydrogen it is to be of plus 1 so as we have to find out the oxidation state of sulfur here so you see sulfur is to be considered as x and minus 2 we are having two times so you have to write minus 2 whole twice and plus and three times we are having so whole thrice it is to be there 1 2 and 3 and um, two oxygens are carrying minus 1 charge so that we have to write minus 1 whole twice and two hydrogens are having plus 1 so that we have to write plus 1 whole twice and the whole sum that is equal to 0 so what you will do x plus and this is of you will get it minus 6 and this is of minus 2 and the plus 2 minus 2 to plus 2 will be cancel and this is of x minus 6 equal to 0 so that we are getting x is equal to plus 6 so this will be the right answer to find out the oxidation state of sulfur that always be 6 uh, not more than 6 maybe less than 6 minus 2 to plus 6 okay so this is the 
right answer let us discuss the one more case also that uh, suppose you are having fe3o4 so as you have to find out the oxidation state of iron so simply what we do we have to take it x whole thrice oxygen this is of minus 2 whole 4 that is equal to 0 so simply what we will do 3x minus 8 equal to 0 and we will get x is equals to 8 by 3 so that will come in the fractional order so again this we don't have to consider actually fe3o4 this is the combination of feo and fe2o3 that we have to know feo and fe2o3 and here the iron will show variable oxidation state in that case this is of plus 2 okay and here this will show plus 3 so oxidation state of ferrous and ferric both will be considered here same you have to consider in the term of suppose you will be having pb3o4 so that is again that you have to write pbo dot pb2o3 so here you will be having the oxidation state plus 2 and here you will be having the oxidation state plus 3 okay so i hope you all have got it these different cases how to find out the oxidation state of different elements. That's all for today's session.